Absolutely. I'll have the sketches for the winter line ready in a week or two. Yeah? No. Don't worry, it's going great. <laughs> okay. This will be the first time anyone has loved me. Molly, are you ready? For my final dress fitting at the bridal salon, remember? You said you wanted to come. I'm so sorry, Amy. I'm way behind on my deadlines. The department stores want to see a lookbook for the winter line in a month. I don't have sketches to make patterns to make clothes. You have to eat. I'll buy you lunch and you can sit on the pretty couch and tell me how gorgeous my dress is. It is your sworn duty as maid of honor. You're right. Well, of course I'll come. Maybe we can get cheesesteaks from that truck across the street. You're kidding, right? Why? What do you want to eat? Cold pressed juice and kale chips. How are we even friends? James is gonna die when he sees you in this. I don't think he cares what I wear to the wedding. He'd be happy if we got married in a ditch. It's kind of sweet though, right? I mean, he just, he loves you. You'll have that too someday. I know you will. Probably not, but that's how I want it. I like my drama-free life. Sounds kind of boring to me. Hey, not everybody needs a guy to live happily ever after. That is what everyone says, but no one actually means it. Okay, how long have you and I been best friends and have I ever not meant what I said? Okay, fine. You will be alone forever. Thank you. You're still coming with us for dinner tonight, right? Yeah. To Nick's new restaurant? Yes, but don't try to set us up again. That was years ago, and I didn't technically try to set you up. Um, you locked us out on your balcony. <laughs> yeah, it was a great idea. Can I help if there weren't any sparks? So what kind of food does Nick serve at his restaurant? Modern American fusion. Sounds like a game show. Hey, <laughs> keep an open mind. Fusion. So, James, Amy tells me your business is doing well. It's been a slow start, but I love helping regular people with their savings. It sure beats Wall Street. It's all about new clients. Where would we find the house with the basement in the city? We don't have to live in the city. I can get financial advice from anywhere. Whoa, whoa, what are you saying? You don't want to live in Manhattan? Hey, Nick. Hey, you guys finally made it in. It's about time. Nick, you remember Molly? Uh, yeah. Blame her. She's as impossible to make plans with as you are. <laughs> Congrats on the restaurant, Nick. It looks great. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a long time coming, but it's good. How about you? How's, uh, how's the shoe biz? No sales at all. Oh. Mostly because I'm not in the shoe biz. Right. It's uh, clothes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, let's get you guys a table. Come on. All right. Don't worry. We'll be a huge fan of Nick's after tonight. Who here's amazing. Whoa, whoa, wait. You've been here already? It was before he officially opened. You were at your gallery late for that show with the paintings made out of coffee stains. Coffee grinds. Right. But we're all here now. Bride and groom, maid of honor, Nick the best man, all finally together in the same room, right? <laughs> let's just enjoy the meal. Brought first course, a smoked quail egg marinated in an oak-aged apple vinegar foam. Mmm. 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 Tastes like uh, an eggy pickle. Two things I enjoy separately. Yeah. Right, not bad for our third weekend. Hey, Isaac. Uh, I didn't get the oysters again today, though. I didn't get any seafood this week. Sorry, partner. Minor cash flow issue until we find our legs. We stocked up for next week. All right, thank you. You keep the doors open. Mm-hmm, and you keep them coming back. Thank you. What is it? I don't believe it. Are you okay? It's about this investor, Frank Van Allen. He's been caught in some pyramid scheme. Did you know him? He invested all of my parents' savings. They've frozen all our assets pending the investigation. And now my father wants us to postpone the wedding. Oh, Amy, I am so sorry. They were supposed to make the final payments tomorrow, but now they can't. I can't afford a wedding for 300 people. I know. Let's go back to your place and talk this over. We'll figure something out. Yeah. Amy, I'm sure there's some way that we can still make this wedding happen. If we can find a good location, we can still have a nice ceremony. Excuse me. Boom. Oh. No. Nick, hmm? 
Can I talk to you a sec? Sure. What's up, buddy? I think I know someplace we can do this. Uh, no, no, no. Look, you know I'd do anything to help you guys, but I don't think the inn's a good idea. The place is falling apart. And, well, it hasn't been open since my mom passed, and I just... I know. Worth a try. Huh? Are you kidding me? I have a tapeworm. Well, come on. You, you didn't enjoy any of the meal I prepared? I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just not a foam person. I don't even like cappuccinos. OK, fine. Next time, I'm going to make you macaroni and cheese. How's that? You promise? Yeah, I promise. So did I hear you guys right? Did you know someplace that we might be able to have this wedding? Yes. No. Oh, come on, Nick. I mean, you saw her. She's a wreck. Anything would help. <sighs> All right, my father owns an inn in the Berkshires. Is there some way we could see what it looks like? Is there a website? My father doesn't know a website from a campsite. He doesn't even own a computer. I mean, come on, James. You've seen the place. It's a disaster. Yeah. I guess the inn wasn't such a good idea. Sorry, guys. I, I got to take this. Isaac, hey, what's up? Do you think Amy's going to be OK? I don't know. I mean, her whole lifestyle is about to change. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. It's all a bit much anyway, you know? I guess that depends on who you ask. I can't believe this. What happened? That was Isaac, my business partner. Turns out our primary investor is another of these victims from the pyramid scheme. Says I have to close the restaurant until he can find another investor. I'm sorry to hear that. Really. You'll open back up. You're too good not to. What am I supposed to do until then? Maybe you could... Cater a country wedding? Come on. I, I, I'm not trying to pressure you, but don't you have a fridge full of food that's not going to be used now? OK. You're right. Yes. Yes, I will call my father. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> What's going on? Your wedding, that's what. Maybe. I can live with maybe. Anyone up for a Berkshire's road trip? I am. Where are we going? I'm so glad you ordered a stretch limo. OK, everybody comfy? We're great. Thanks right. for driving, Nick. Hey. Huh. What? Thought it would have been more of a me me. OK, let's go. Do you know what the mark of a good restaurant is? Originality, quality, consistency, a chef who's passionate about his food. Ranch dressing. Molly is quite the ranch connoisseur. One taste, and I know if it's fresh or from a jug. If it's from a jug, I know the rest of the food is going to be You know, you should really get a job writing for the Times. Mm. <laughs> Try it. Oh. Come on. No way. Come on, Nick. This phone, but for normal people. <laughs> now you're turning on me? I'm just trying to expand your horizons. Go ahead. Come on. Fine, OK, OK. Great, right? Grudgingly, one point ranch dressing. Oh, I can't even look. It just keeps getting worse. Good thing my parents own their apartment, or they'd be out on the street. They're living with us. What am I going to do? I know that I'm being insane. It's just a lot to process. What was that? Nothing. Barney's wants first right of refusal on my winter line. That's amazing. That's awesome. Why aren't you jumping up and down? Yeah. Mostly because I don't like anything I'm designing and probably won't have anything for them. Then I'll end up selling V-neck t-shirts on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe getting out of the city will inspire you. Oh, yeah. I got it. Yes, I want to do this. Can't wait to see the end. And then Charlie, it's been a while. Yeah, 
It's been a while for me, too. Did you really grow up there? Afraid so. <clears throat> You're right back. Ladies' room. Nick wasn't always this trend-setting New York chef. Oh, yes. Sorry. Must be this one. Growing up with all those people around. Yeah, he was the best bellboy the Berkshires ever saw. Yeah. <laughs> Easy now. I've got this beautiful. Okay. Great. Thank you. Is it hard to get other employees? Not the end of the world. Thank you. Number Thank one you. employee. In fact, he also made an excellent housekeeper. Did you say I was fat, or did you say in fact? Oh, both. <laughs> Brought it yeah, back for you. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Everybody ready? Let's go. Let's go. really cool, by the way. Hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. Plaza. It's fine. It's perfect. Oh, no. thanks. Welcome. Well, there we go. Hey, Dad. Good to see you, Nick. What's up with him? It's complicated. Jimmy. Hey, Charlie. See you. Looking good? Yeah, sure. You must be Amy. Nick told me what happened. Sorry. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Charlie Turner? Molly Quinn. I'm Amy's best friend. I thought you were Nick's latest. Nope. OK, let's go inside. These roses are stunning. I water them, they grow. Use them in the wedding if you want. Thank you. That was sweet. They are beautiful. Do you really think we can make this place work? Only one way to find out. It's even worse than I remembered. Uh, Mr. Turner. Call me Charlie. Charlie, I was wondering how many rooms you have here? 10. Uh, well, nine. Next room is still full of his stuff. That sounds interesting. What? It's not like some weird shrine to me or anything. I just haven't picked up my boxes. All right, can we keep this going? My afternoon nap isn't going to take itself. Wow, this is nice. Got a fridge, stove, pantry. You know where everything is. You've been in here enough. Nick, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fine. Fine. Nick, is that your mom? She was beautiful. Yeah, she was. Yeah, are we, uh, are we done in here yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's still working and everything in here? This? Whoa! Dad, come on. When is the last time you used the stove? Wow. Look at this. It's just sublime. You can't get this in the city. I think something just bit my ankle. Do you realize we could get an entire house in the country for half the price of what it costs to live in the city? You know I don't want to live anywhere else. Amy, if you don't want to rush this, I mean, we can just wait until your family gets back on their feet for the wedding. No, I love James. And I'm tired of being engaged, you know? I don't, actually. Uh, which is fine. You realize the reason you haven't been in any long-term relationships is because you bail the second you get into a fight. I don't bail. I just, I just, I just know there's no point in wasting time if the romance is gone. <laughs> I mean, look, if you're fighting in the beginning, You'll be at war by the end, just like my parents were. You are the most depressing maid of honor ever. 
check it out. Charlie, is that barn empty? You don't count the possums. He's joking, right? Well, there you go. James? James, I, I can't get married in a barn. Please, sweetie, it's just an old cobweb. Oh, sorry, it's just, I didn't think it would be so haunted housey. Amy, it's okay. Just try to look at, at the space, not the dirt. Look, call me crazy, but we could have the ceremony up here in front, and then the reception back here, with the tables on the sides. Hey, what's up there? Amy, come up here. Oh, this is perfect. Hey, last cocktails. I promise you, Amy, we can make this work. You trust me? You know I do. You trust Nick to cook? Of course. Do you want to get married next Saturday? I do. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be beautiful, I promise. Now, the first thing we should do tonight is sit down and figure out what style you want. It's from my dad. The lawyers called an emergency meeting tonight. They want me to come. You know, I'll just call him and tell him we can't come, that we're trying to save the wedding. No, Amy, you should be there. But we don't all need to go back. Why don't you and James take Nick's car? You're fine with that, right, Nick? Uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. sure, of course. Yeah, you and I can stay here and start planning, and they can join us in the afternoon. Okay. You're the best. Yeah, I know. You know why else this is perfect? Why? You can stop by my studio and get some supplies. For what? You need a wedding dress, don't you? Molly, you're already doing so much. Uh, I've been meaning to expand my repertoire anyway. Don't you have to work on your designs for the winter line? Um, still waiting for inspiration to come on those. Right now, I'm all about weddings. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I guess we should head back. See you tomorrow. Good, okay. Good luck. Not a scratch on my car, okay? Drive safe. This isn't like a more elaborate version of locking us on the balcony, is it? something else. Suit yourself. I'm going upstairs. Now, we'll figure it out one of these days. Don't wait too long. Dads don't last forever. I lost my folks too early. Sorry to hear that. What are you making? Chili. It's the best I could do until I get to a market. But luckily, my mom taught me how to improvise in the kitchen. She used to be able to make the most amazing things out of absolutely nothing at all. I would have given anything to have a mom like that. Your mom didn't cook? Mm -hmm. Salt? Yeah, uh, she did, but all she made my entire childhood was diet food. 
My therapist said she was trying to spare me the pain of being a chunky kid like she was, but there wasn't a day that I wasn't hungry for something real. Uh, uh, uh. No. Sorry. Now explain your fondness for comfort food. What about your dad? He was smart. He stayed out with his buddies for dinner most of the time. When he was home, all they did was fight. You know, I never once saw them hold hands or kiss or even hug each other. It's probably for the best. <laughs> How can you say that? Can you hand me the uh, spicy chili oil, please? Um. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Oh, this one. Oh, hey, um, what were you thinking for the hors d'oeuvres? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Hey. Maybe we could make some dishes for the wedding from your mom's recipes. I mean, didn't she cook for big groups of people every day when the inn was open? No, 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 not, not those. I, uh, I can't cook my mom's recipes. I mean, I can cook my mom's recipes. I just, I, I don't. We might be the worst two people in history to, to plan, a, plan wedding. a wedding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you might be right. Got your room ready. I love it. Yeah. Sheets are pretty good. Clarissa was always going on and on about thread counts, pillow tops, and all that. Uh, I never cared about that stuff. I had what I needed. Charlie. What? Are you sure you're OK with us fixing up the place for the wedding? Why wouldn't I be? Well, it's just, I'm sure every room holds a lot of memories for you. Just leave the kitchen the way it is. That's all I ask. I will. Yeah. Bathroom's on the end of the hall on the left. You're the only one using it. Next room is on the opposite end. Charlie. Mm. Snoop much? Sorry. I, I thought this was the bathroom. It, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's just a bunch of stupid old recipes that I made up as a kid. The cake, cookies, sugar balls. Sugar balls? Yeah. Stick of butter rolled into a ball and dipped in sugar. Did you eat that? Yes, I did. Once. Mmm. <laughs> Can you make me Nick's famous chocolate chip cookies? No. No way. Oh, why not? Look, you got the tools here and everything. Because the main ingredient is chicken. No, it's not. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that order. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you're interested in cookies, you might want to try these. Mmm, those look delicious. They are delicious. And you can barely taste the chicken, so. That there is my first spatula. Really? Yeah. I wanted to cook with it. And it's hidden away up here? It should be on display somewhere, like a ball player's first glove. Oh, come on. I'm hardly Derek Jeter. It's just a, uh, I don't know, it's a spatula. That's why you've held on to it all these years. I didn't inspire you. Mm hmm. Okay. 
but I should probably go. Yeah, of course. Second door on the left. I uh, other left. Yeah. There you go. Night. Night. Nick? Charlie? Anyone? Wow. Somebody went shopping. Snoopy. Oh, hi. I see you made my mom's country baked omelet. Hope that's okay. Yeah. I figured I could probably make it without messing it up too much. Well, it smells exactly the same. Do you want to try it? It's terrible, isn't it? It's exactly how I remember. Hey, so I talked to my guy in New York, and the food will be here in a couple of days. That's great. Yeah. Can I show you what I've been working on? Sure. All right. Upscale vintage farmhouse. You see? Classy, yet comfortable. What's wrong with it? It's perfect. Actually, I was thinking that we would modernize the inn, you know? Bring in some more metal and glass, maybe some stone. That would ruin the whole vibe of the place. No, 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 no. It'd be calming. It'd be more refined, minimalist. Less is more, you know? So basically, one quail egg on a plate, the hotel? If the egg is done right, then yes. And that is what I do. Okay, how about this? You go work on your idea, I'll work on mine, and we'll let Amy and James decide if they want a quail egg or a lobster roll. Oh, suddenly the wedding is in Maine. Just go over there. What's going on? We were just about to leave, and the lawyers called us back. There's more going on than we realized. My mom is a mess. It's okay, Amy. Don't worry about it. I mean, stay there and take care of her. We've got this covered. But we haven't picked a style yet. Well, you can do it from there. So you get the idea, right? Upscale vintage farmhouse. The cake, the roses and chairs. It's elegant, but traditional. Molly, I love it. Except... <laughs> Come on. My menu concept doesn't really gel with that. I was picturing a version of what I do in this city. Simple, clean, elegant. I said elegant first. And I think that we should incorporate those modern elements into the style of the wedding itself. Mm, he has a point. I don't know. What do you think? You decide. It's your special day. Isn't it yours, too? Of course. But I'd be fine getting married by Elvis at a drive through <laughs> It's my dad. I really have to talk to him. That's fine. Just, just tell us which style you like. What about both? <laughs> both? What? How are we supposed to do that? I... I'm really sorry, Molly. I have to go. I know whatever you do, it'll be amazing. <sighs> now what do we do? Well, you heard the bride. She wants both. Minimalist modern vintage farmhouse? It's not even a real thing. Yeah, I know. I was joking. But clearly, she liked mine better, so. <laughs> no. Amy said she loved mine, okay? I heard her. <sighs> Unless. What? 
unless we really can do both. You want to see it? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, the vintage farmhouse lanterns set the tone, but the blue palette will modernize the look. Even the candles change. Country meets city. Timeless and trendy all at the same time. Well, I have to admit, it's pretty cool. Why aren't you saying anything? I was expecting you to say you were joking. No. No, I'm not joking. I think this can work. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Of course, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Right. Let's get this right. taken care of. Need supplies. Yep. I don't know. For me, I like the cool toned whites. I actually like the warm yellows. I want people to feel like they can take their shoes off. Ugh, there's nothing worse than women taking their shoes off at a wedding. It's so tacky. Try wearing heels for five minutes and then see how you feel. But all I'm saying is that they spend hours getting ready for the wedding, and the second the conga line breaks out, y'all turn into a bunch of hillbillies. I feel like you have some deep-seated issues with feet. No, 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 no. I just... I like things to be more refined, you know? And I don't? No, you don't. You like things to be more comfy. What's wrong with comfy? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with comfy. It's just not all the time. Well, if you grew up in a house where everything was white, spotless, and off limits, you'd see why I value comfort above all else. It's OK to relax sometimes, you know. Uh-huh. Do you realize that you never sit down? Well, I can rest when I'm dead, right? You know what? I'm going to teach you how to relax. No, thank you. Challenge accepted. Huh. Oh, look at these remnants. Dirt sheep and fabulous. Is this the wedding version of Maria Von Trapp using old curtains to make play clothes? Yes. You know that movie? Yeah, the guy can't enjoy a good musical? Oh, yeah, I just didn't think that guy was you. It was my mom's favorite movie. I used to watch it every year. Mine, too. <laughs> You're not going to burst into song, though, are you? <laughs> no. Yeah, you were. <laughs> oh, I can totally repurpose this for Amy's dress. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's nice. You know, I bet you five bucks this whole place and everything in it is haunted. <laughs> Nothing's haunted. Oh, except this box. There's definitely a ghost in there. Yeah? Help me! I tried to say this is a tea store and I can't get out! <laughs> Nick! Is that you? Henry, hey! <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Henry, this is Molly. Very pleased to meet you. Hi. <laughs> Wow, it's, it's been ages. Yeah. So what brings you back in these parts? Uh, well, actually, we are planning a wedding. <laughs> you know, I could tell. You two have that certain something. I mean, it reminds me so much of your parents when I... We're not the ones who are getting married. <clears throat> oh? Yeah, we're helping our best friends plan theirs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we barely know each other. <laughs> we're practically strangers. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that's cool. cool. I don't believe it. No way. <laughs> Gus, it's Tony, it's great to see you guys. Hey, this is a friend of mine, Molly. Molly, Tony and Gus. Hey, hey. what are you guys doing here? We're here to help whip this place into shape. Well, how did you know? Your dad called. Really? He did. So, what do you want done? Well, uh, budget's a little thin on this one, guys. Mm -hmm. This is gratis. Your pop called in a favor. You got paint? Yeah, in the back of Charlie's truck. Seems like your dad's really trying. My 
called a couple of friends, but he can still barely talk to me. Nicky, you give your pop a break. He did the best he could. Salmon roe parfait? Yeah. Oh, come on. We need to have something on the menu that isn't nouveau. You need to realize the three main food groups aren't cheese, bacon, and ranch dressing. Ah, but they're the best food groups. Oh, come on. You gotta do something better. Amy and James, they want something more artful. Art? Yes. Come on, people want to eat. Don't they? they? They want an experience. How about the experience of feeling full? Leaving people full is easy. Anyone can do that. Leaving them satisfied, that means engaging their senses, taking them on a journey. You're not just gonna have sight, smell, taste, everything. I got it. Okay. Chicken pot pie. Really? Did you hear anything that I just said? Everybody loves chicken pot pie. Hey. Wait a second. What if? What? If we did both? Chicken pot pie, Nick Turner style. It's got cremini mushrooms, fresh leeks, roasted heirloom garden vegetables, a hickory smoked organic chicken, and a rosemary infused biscuit crust. Sounds complex. Yeah, it's com would you just try it? Come on. You hate it. This is literally the best thing I've ever tasted. Seriously. Wow. It means a lot coming from you. Thank you. You know what this is? This is the perfect compromise for the wedding menu. It's Clarissa's comfort food with a Nick Turner twist. I really want to argue with you, but I think you're right. <laughs> we could do pasta. Homemade pasta with butter poached prawns, mustard greens, and hickory smoked bacon. Fried chicken? With a sriracha brine served on pea shoots and roasted carrot puree. Meatloaf? Veal meatloaf served with sweet tomato confit. And baked potato? Sweet potato gnocchi served with kale and arugula pesto. That sounds perfect. Yes, right? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and what about the wedding cake? Uh, I have a recipe for that upstairs in my book. What's in it? Chicken. I'll call a bakery. Yeah, good idea. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. Discount shoes for my wedding. Do I sound like a jerk? A little. You're supposed to say I'm not. You're crying about shoes. I'm crying about everything. You're acting like we're not getting married, Amy. We are. And our friends are making sure it'll be wonderful. We're the luckiest people in the world. You're right. We are lucky. I'm sorry. These look pretty good. You coming to 13? Always does. Just relax. Hey, something smells good. What is it? Hot cocoa. Part of the Molly Quinn relaxation experience. Probably instant. Shut up. <laughs> what are you doing in here anyway? We don't have time to sit around. I was trying to work on designs for the next season, but it's just not happening. Hmm. Sounds like we're in a similar place work-wise. Nothing happening. Come sit with me. Listen to the rain for a minute. Why would I want to do that? Because it's one of life's greatest pleasures. Oh. Well, it is to me. I'm a lifelong pluviophile. That sounds diseasy. <laughs> 
It means somebody who's happiest when it's raining. Well, I'm gonna get her done a file. Just sit. I don't want to sit. Sit. I'm gonna sit. All right. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Now, take a sip of hot cocoa from my fancy owl mug. Mm -hmm. And stare at the fire. Okay, boring. Do it again. Breathe in. Exhale. Okay, just sit back. <laughs> just relax. Breathe. Hmm. Breathe. used to sit here on, on rainy nights and watch me play when I was a kid. It was the best. Thank you for helping me remember that. My pleasure. Should have had this fixed years ago, Dad. Yeah, with what money? With the money you'd get from paying guests if you hadn't shut down. I can't run this place alone. Well, then you should sell. I told you you could fix it up. But I will not sell. Fine. Sorry you have to see that. I'll be right back. I'm a musical genius. Please. <clears throat> oh, come on. Move over, hotshot. Oh. Let me guess. You took lessons your whole life, then you're about to destroy me with your talent. Pretty much, yeah. Fingers. I am, as are you, madam. A piano like this deserves better. Yeah, I know. My dad used to play a lot, though. He was really good, too. My mom loved it. They tried to teach me a little bit. Thought it'd be cute if I played for the guests. Oh, now I see why the place is so empty. Oh, you're funny. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I always wish I'd taken lessons. I always wanted to be able to play Claire de Lune. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> again, fingers. Okay, we got, we, go. we got this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Success!
Hey, a little late to be interior decorating, isn't it? What can I say? Inspiration struck. Hmm. Maybe it was the cookies. Got them, huh? I just had to redo these curtains. Ah. Uh, not so sure my dad's gonna be okay with that. No, I talked to him. He said we can fix up anything we want. Except the kitchen. He wants us to leave that exactly as it is. You want some help? That would be great. What do you want me to do? Um... in the morning. We need a snack. So, this is my take on... Uh, Pizza bites? No. <laughs> Bruschetta. No? Try. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Not bad. Not bad? It's amazing. It's different, right? I think that's what I love most about what I do. Bringing together different ingredients that you wouldn't necessarily think would work together. You know, will they complement each other or will they contrast? When you put them together, they're gonna make something amazing or will it just miss? And you know, believe me, I've missed before. But sometimes, sometimes the perfect combination is right in front of you. And as soon as you taste it, you just know. And I think that's why I love that term fusion. It's a bringing together of different ingredients and different styles to make something better, something unique, something magical. Yeah. I think Clarissa would just love it. I think Nick would love to hear you say that. The uh, thing is, I mess things up with him. I, I don't know how to talk about his mother without having all the pain and coming back like it was yesterday. Can't even picture loving someone that much. Why not? From what I can see, if you open yourself up to love, you open yourself up to pain. Mm. It just doesn't seem worth it. Well, of course it's worth it. I want to show you something. It's the china we used to use when we were open. There's more than enough settings there for the wedding. Thank you, Charlie. You're welcome to anything in there.
the moment we met, I knew we were destined to spend our lives together. You are the sun rising over a green meadow, bringing light and love to my soul. Hey, good morning. What's wrong? Have you seen these? What are those? Love letters that your mom and dad wrote to each other. Whoa, 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 who said you could pry into my family business? I wasn't prying. Well, it sure looks like it. Nick, stop. I let her find them. I wanted her, I wanted you both to see what love can be, that it is worth it. Have you read them, Nick? Your dad is a poet. Poet? I don't find it poetic to love somebody so much that you give up on life when that person's gone. I don't get that. I wish I'd handled things differently, Nick. If I could do it all over again, I would. Me too. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm just saying, if we sell your place, we can buy a house anywhere in the country and not have to worry about money for a while. I would rather be broke than live outside Manhattan. Seems you're well on your way. Hi, we got the stuff. Great, can't wait to get started. You guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. We're just happy to be back here, ready to help, right? Of course. Where do we start? How are you with a mop? I missed a spot, guys. I know it's hard to visualize now, but once we get it all cleaned up and start falling to place, sure it's gonna be great. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am cleaning mouse droppings off the floor of my wedding venue. I know it's not what you dreamed of, Ames, but your wedding will still be beautiful. It's not the wedding. It's just before all this happened, I thought I knew exactly how my life was supposed to be, and now I can't see it. Have you talked to James? I tried, but he doesn't understand. He thinks it's some kind of reality check, like this is supposed to be good for us. Maybe in the end, it'll bring you closer. You have each other. You also have me. 24-7 on duty from now until you walk down that aisle. What? You look so happy. I thought you and Nick would have killed each other by now. No way. <gasps> Molly, do you like Nick? No. <gasps> because that would be amazing. We could be married couple be at the house. We could live in the same neighborhood. Our kids could be best friends. <sighs> Amy, stop it. There's nothing going on. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It's impossible. Neither of us wants anything to do with love. Who said anything about love? You did. No, I didn't. Very. Very interesting. Just stop. <clears throat> Homemade pasta with truffle cream sauce and radish leaves. Sriracha brine fried chicken on rosemary infused buttermilk waffles, pork medallions with roasted Brussels sprouts and kale, and veal meatloaf with braised heirloom tomatoes. So you decided against using your Clarissa's restaurant menu? Uh, actually, this is, uh, this is more Clarissa's than anything I've done in a long time. We're grateful no matter what you make. Maybe I should have stuck with what I was doing before, but um, it just wasn't exciting me anymore. I hope you're not too disappointed. Don't apologize. The food is amazing. We're it, not disappointed. I, I'm sorry. It looks great. I'm terrible. No, you're just terrible at not being rich. <laughs> you know what? In 20 years, we're going to look back on this wedding and be glad it was small and just about us. 
We're just getting the poor part of the vows out of the way. Oh no, the vows. We haven't written them yet. I thought we were just going to do the regular ones everyone else does. No, we talked about this, remember? When? Can I just keep one dream alive? You mean aside from living happily ever after? Yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. Yeah, my dad said you could do whatever you wanted with them, so your call. What are you guys talking about? These letters that Nick's mom and dad wrote to each other. I thought maybe they'd inspire you for your vows. My lovely Clarissa, I never knew what love really meant until the moment we met. And then everything became clear to me. Every moment of my life, every decision I ever made led up to this, to meeting you, to our future. You inspire me more than I ever thought possible. I want to hold your hand through it all for the rest of our lives. You bring on a side of me I didn't know I had. You challenge me. You make me better. Love was just a word until I found you. I will search no more because with you by my side, I'm home. Sounds a little schmaltzy to me, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I could say that without laughing. You were right. Let's go old school. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bad idea. No, oh, sorry. Uh, okay, well, let's get back to work. Um, all right, so if you start wrapping these, I can get to work on your dress. I still have half the bodice to go. How about a bachelorette party for two? Well, we could order pizza and hang out while I sew. Just like when you first moved to New York. <laughs> Except with better wine. <laughs> so if they're doing that, does that mean I get a bachelor party too? I don't know. What did you have in mind? It's not like there's a lot of options around. Uh, I'd be happy playing video games and slamming a plate of nachos. Okay, I can arrange that. Hey, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Whoa, 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 stop. No, 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 you can't cut in front of me like that. Oh, okay, let's go around the back. You come to the finish line. This year, and then You guys thirsty? Yeah, thanks, Charlie. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, thanks, Dad. There you go. <clears throat> you wanna give it a shot? You wanna play? Ah, uh, no, no. Thanks for asking, but uh, I can hardly use a cell phone, let alone a gadget like that. I'm gonna get some more nachos. Okay. <laughs> you guys good? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Listen, Dad, uh, mm. since you're here, um, I wanted to tell you that I, uh, I read the letters. And, uh, I wish that I'd have read them sooner. Because I feel like, I, I could feel like I would have understood a bit better, you know? It wasn't your job to understand. Yeah. You lost someone you loved as much as I did. I'm just, I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you through it. I ask Clarissa for her forgiveness every night. Now I'm asking for yours. Yeah. I miss you, kid. I miss you too, Dad. I guess they got pretty sappy with those letters, huh? Yeah, a little bit. You wanna try it? Come on, sit with me. Play it. No, I don't know if I can. Oh, come on, you can do it. We'll do it together, we'll do all right? It here. You show me how to hold it. Okay, that's steering, that's gas, that's brake. There's the screen. Oh, we're Ready? My thumb Go. Out. You're the blue guy. It's done. Oh, Molly, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Me too. Oh. Heck, I'd wear it if I were getting married. Uh, not that I would, just, you know, if, whatever. 
These are honestly the best pancakes you've ever had, Nick. Thank you. Morning. Hey, Charlie. Good morning, Dad. <laughs> Mick and Mom's uh, banana blueberry pancakes. You want some? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, here. Take mine. I'm, uh, I'm proud of you, son. I know Mom is, too. Hey, no tears until tonight. Why am I gonna cry tonight? Have you met Amy's mother? <laughs> Good morning. Hey. Hmm, what's so funny? Nothing. You guys want some pancakes? Do you even have to ask? Okay, go, go sit. It looks like a beautiful morning. I love this breakfast room. Me too. Such a pretty light. Yeah. Oh, this looks so good. Wow. My parents are gonna love this place. I just hope my mom and dad can find it on time. Oh, the rehearsal dinner is gonna look so pretty out there. Okay, everyone, here we are. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be perfect. Here we go, ladies. Wow. Bon appetit. So Thank you. Mm. Mm. Those are amazing. You know, your mom used to do that. Watch people eat. <laughs> I never knew why. I think I do. Yeah. I can't believe this is the same barn. <laughs> oh, Molly. I know it's not what you had planned in the city, but... Stop. It is beautiful. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome. Um, in honor of my best friend James and his lovely bride Amy and their wonderful parents who are joining us for the rehearsal dinner I have prepared my mom's favorite fried chicken with a Nick Turner twist It's uh, sriracha brine served on a rosemary infused buttermilk waffle and it has a uh, paprika crema with it. So please enjoy uh, And for you special order Macaroni and cheese? As promised. All right. You seem to be taking this rather well, sir. There's a certain freedom in charting a new course. It reminds me when I was just starting out. Meanwhile, my diamonds are in the display window. A Third Street pawn and loan. <laughs> we'll be okay, Diana. I know. You do? Mm, did it once. We can do it again. I think this is a good time for a toast. Mm. To Amy and James, who are charting their own new course together. And someday, if the path goes in an unexpected direction, don't be afraid to take it. It may lead you to exactly where you need to be. <laughs> Cheers. As long as our path doesn't take us out of New York City. Cheers. Cheers. You're never leaving Manhattan. We know. You've made yourself perfectly clear. And so have you. You want out. You think I want to raise kids in the city? What's wrong with raising kids in the city? Nothing, but the country gives us room to breathe. Excuse me, but I need some room to breathe. Yeah, good idea. Just the pre wedding jitters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, they'll be fine. Excuse me. Did 
you think that Amy and James are okay? I don't even think they're in love. <sighs> Me neither. But then again, I mean, what do we know about love? We don't even know what it feels like. I think it feels like this. Mm. Yeah, I think it feels like that. So we're in agreement, right? Neither of us is going to say anything to James and Amy tomorrow, right? It's their wedding, their decision. Yep, agreed. None of our business. Right. Yeah. This is me. Right. Good night. Good night. Is, is this like the live version of you hang up, no you hang up? No. No, because that would just be sad. <laughs> totally. Right. You hang up. No, you. <laughs> so you're not going to say anything to James, right? As long as you don't say anything to Amy. I'm not. Okay. Me neither. Okay. give you a little BFF reality check. You just need to make sure that you guys are really on the same page. Are you sure that you and Amy are still on the same page about what you want for your future? Oh, she's just nervous. Her whole life was turned upside down and she hasn't had a chance to process it. It's not just your wedding day. This is the rest of your life. I guess it's more about knowing whether you're happy or just going through the motions. I'm not the guy who doesn't believe in love. This from the girl who runs from every relationship. Are you trying to talk me out of getting married? Are you trying to talk me out of marrying James? Of course not. I'm just saying, if you're having doubts, you should talk to him. But even if I was having doubts, I would never leave Amy on our wedding night. She doesn't deserve that. Especially after everything she's been through. Okay? Well, I'm here for you. Welcome again. Nice to see you. Please, go on. Too bad this place isn't open for business. It's stunning. Just gorgeous. Welcome. Welcome. Everything okay with James? Yeah, sure. Well, why wouldn't it be? Everything okay with Amy? Of course. Yeah. That's the, uh... Happiest day of her life. Molly, you did a wonderful job with Clarissa's roses. Wait, they're Clarissa's? Hmm? You didn't say that before. I didn't say a lot of things. But that's done now. That's your cue. All right, here we go. Stunning, by the way. Thanks. You look... whatever the man version of stunning is. Thank you. Uh, where's James? Shouldn't he be up here already? Do you think something is wrong? How would I know? I don't know, unless you know something I don't know. I don't know, do you? No. I know I don't. Did you 
you say? Did you say something to him? Thank you, everyone, for coming. As you can see, we've decided not to get married. Don't be mad at each other. We finally admitted what we both knew deep down, that we'd be making a big mistake. I'm just happy that we finally realized it before it was too late. You're both OK? Yeah, we're perfect. We're friends and always will be. Are you sure it's not just what I said? I'd feel terrible if I talked you out of your own wedding. This was never my wedding. In fact, I think it's fair to say from the dress to the design, this is exactly how you'd plan your wedding. How's that for a BFF reality check? Thank you for coming. I still think we should have had the party anyway. We will. When it's yours. Hey. We did good. We did great. So, tomorrow we're back to our real lives. It's gonna be weird. You think so? But we just never really talked about what now? Right. Um, well, uh, I gotta go back to New York, pound the pavement till I find a new investor for the restaurant, and you need to get your winter line up and running. What winter line? I don't have a thing. You'll find your inspiration when you get back to your studio. My inspiration was here. Yeah. Yeah, mine too. But we just have to find a way to make it work at home. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah. So when you open back up again, are you going to change your menu to do more like what you did here? It's the plan. Well, maybe I'll stop by then. OK. All right. Or maybe we'll both be so busy, we'll never see each other again. Right? <laughs> you never know. I knew it. Oh, no, I was joking. I don't think you were. Come on, can't we just enjoy what we have right now and not worry about tomorrow? Huh? Why, because you knew what we had here was just a fantasy that can't last in the real world? I have no idea. And neither do you, by the way. I knew it. <laughs> I knew this would happen if I let my guard down. It's easier being alone. <sighs> well, you got that right. So, that's it then. I mean, once we leave here, there's no room for us. We're not even going to try. Well, it seems like that's what you want. No, that's clearly what you want. Look, Molly. I, I have to go. Molly. Thank you. Enjoy it. We just paid our rent for the next six months with that sale. Oh, while you were with the client, James called. Oh, thank you. Are you getting back together? No. We are much better off as friends. Mm -hmm. Did you call him? Amy, stop asking me that. Thank you. He was right. We we're both too busy. You know what? It's better this way. I gotta go. Thank you. Hey. None of this was on the menu before. What are you doing? I was inspired when we shut down. I found my passion making... Old family recipes new again. It's comfort food with a Nick Turner twist. It's good. No, well, he's not investing in a roadside diner. He's investing in Clarissa's. This is Clarissa's. Hey, 
Hey, James, what's up? You call her? No, I haven't talked to her. What's the point, though? I messed up, man. I don't think so. You'll be fine. Look, I gotta go, okay? All right, talk to you later. Okay, he's in. He loves the new food. All right. I can't believe how fast you pulled this all together, Molly. You must have been working on this 24-7. Pretty much. Definitely no time for anything else. Well, the Barneys people are going to love it. What's wrong? This is huge. Aren't you happy? Absolutely. I couldn't be happier. Can I take you over for dinner next week to celebrate? That sounds great. Have you tried uh, Clarissa's yet? I hear they're back open and better than ever. Great. She's here. OK. Good job. Happy. Right. Happy. Yeah, okay. Enjoy your meal. All right, thank you for coming. I left here. Everything's just felt wrong. I thought you were doing what, what makes you happy. What really made me happy was being here with Nick. But I got scared and I ran away. And now it's too late. You sure about that? You too. (laughs) 
You knew how to play piano this whole time, didn't you? Uh, maybe. Is serving up the perfect holiday treat. The American Gingerbread Competition. I got in. Now she'll need a little help. I have to win this contest if I'm going to start my cake business. To make her sweetest dreams come true. Hi, Nick. Kylie Watson. You two were inseparable back in high school. Lacey Chabert and Lee Coco. You just need to trust your talent. Things are going to change this Christmas. The Sweetest Christmas. An all new holiday movie premiere. Saturday, November 11th at 8 on Hallmark Channel.